your girl traveler. Today I'm gonna show you some of the highlights of my layover in Shanghai. I have a 20 hour layover challenge in Shanghai, but I know this time will go fast. Efficiency is key if I wanna squeeze the most I can in. The maglev is Shanghai's high speed train from the airport into downtown. It can go up to 400 miles per hour and crunch a 45 minute train ride into eight minutes. There's walking along the streets, there are like a lot of different uh, street food vendors. Seems this part of Shanghai is probably the least modern, real old style. A 20 minute walk north of my neighborhood lands me in the Bund area. As an international and financial district once occupied by the British, it's one of Shanghai's most famous tourist destinations. It is. 9.10. I, I had hoped to wake up a whole lot earlier. Now I've got roughly around three hours to sightsee everything. I'm kind of like just in the area of my, my hostel and just kind of like took a chance, just walked down the street or walked out and started following like a path that I found interesting. And this path eventually led to like this, this little hub of market area. So I guess let's explore. Initially my plan was to go to like some nice area, uh, but I find this a whole lot more local and a lot more interesting. Eggman coming, Eggman. You see like really cool stuff that you would obviously never see at home in your own country. I've seen uh, a guy skidding frog and another guy beheading uh, turtles. I love turtles. This street is hardcore, man. An indoor market. There's just all different types of weights and, and sizes of noodles. The thick flat noodles, you got medium flat noodles, um, you got these really thin ones, eggs, eggs, and then you have your poultry. This is like the older sector of um, Shanghai. Uh, there is a more modern one, but it is kind of like gritty and and older. But to see the roots of the actual culture and the older you get or the more traditional that you get, the more you start beginning to see how people lived, you know? All of those things could easily be replaced with supermarkets and um, high-rises and condos and stuff like that. That's something I feel like I could just stay in the, the States and see. If I can see it in the US, then why travel, right? Now, if you're on WeChat, you might have an idea of who this character is. Tuski is a popular buddy emoji character created by a Beijing illustrator, Momo Wang. You'll find this often used in messenger apps such as WeChat, Kakao, and Facebook. If you're looking for cool curios, you're into like cool boutique shopping, then this, Tan Si Fang, is the place to be at. I love the artwork. You could spend like a couple of hours walking through these streets of Tan Si Fang um, because they're just so hip and happening. Hard to keep your money on your pocket because every time you walk down one of these streets you feel like buying something. I've already bought like two of these little pocket watches for like uh, 15 RMB each. I feel like I'm gonna lose all my money walking through these streets. Lemon. Just get literally lost in there and absorbed in all those little curio worlds. This is a place where even the non-shopper will want to feel like shopping. So I'm gonna have to rush off back to my hostel, pack up my bags, and run out back to the airport. So I wanted to even try some of the foods here. I, I need to save the money to get back to the airport. Five hours today just went down like that. Uh, Tansipang is even more. Oh my god, I can't believe I have to leave right now after just seeing all this. Uh, yeah, so Shanghai layover, you could you could spend some time just in this area alone. Definitely, I would say book book a few more days if you can. 
let's just look. Oh, they have a unique low here too. I'm always getting it really close. Give yourself at least an hour, hour and a half to get to the airport. <laughs> and of course, the check-in and go through immigration and all that stuff. After you start using like a couple of ancient um, metros, it, you kind of get to understand a pattern how things work. If, if I didn't know how to use the metro, I'd be scheduling a whole lot more time into, into getting back. Now we're looking for the green line. Damn it, they would only have like stairs. That's why you should always oh, travel late. Green. Okay, my glove check in. We 